Before we get started, I want to say hello and thank you to a couple of people who gave me beautiful comments on my last video. One is Ray, R-A-E, and the other one is Gabby. Thank you so much for your beautiful comments. These are some gardenias from my garden. Now, they're a little bit difficult to grow in Arizona, but if you give them lots and lots of iron, they do beautiful. And so I have them sitting on my craft desk over to the right so that I'm able to enjoy the smell of them. I wish you guys could smell them. They're absolutely lovely. But let's get started. Thank you for joining me today at Juanette's Crafting Corner. In today's video, I would like to do a little show and tell of some of the new products that I received from Stamping Up. We have a brand new catalog that has gone live. I'm going to turn this light down so that it's not quite so glary. But this is a catalog that will um, go from May 2021 to April 2022. If you live in the United States and you don't have a uh, stamping up demonstrator, just contact me in the description box or through Facebook or just in a comment and I will send you a catalog. They've got a lot of really fun stuff uh, to use, especially for our junk journals, which is seems to be what I'm doing more and more of. So here is my 24-7 online store. You can also look at the catalog at the store. But if there was anything that you wanted, you can get it through my store. Now they've come out with some new colors this year. They are called the In Colors. And this is an evening evergreen. And whenever I order stamp pads, I go ahead and order the reinker and the matching cardstock so that I have it should I need it. And I use the reinkers for also uh, using my jelly plate and you know, I put it in spray bottles and spray it on paper. I mean, there's so much you can do with these. And I believe these are only $3.75. They're not expensive at all. Hang on, guys. I'm going to look that up for you because that is, that's kind of an important thing for you to know what the price is. Because they have, and these are just my new colors. They have tons of colors. Hang on. Sorry, guys. Like, just like Gail says, just talk talk among, amongst yourselves while I try to find where it is. Here we go. So in the catalog, um, here are all their colors, which they have something called brights. And I apologize if that's not focusing well but they have the brights neutrals regals subtles basics and these are the new colors from this year and those were the new colors from last year so a lot of different colors yes the ink refill is only three dollars and 75 cents so i think that is a fantastic deal for ink. Polished pink is another color. Then this really kind of a pale yellow. It's called pale papaya. Then a softer green soft succulent. And then this color. Oh, this is I think my favorite. It is a very light purple color. It's called Fresh Freesia. It is beautifully stamped and it really looks beautiful with uh, vintage things. So let me put these off to the side. 
And then I ordered just some plain crinkled seam binding. I will be able to use those inks. Again, that's what's so fantastic about uh, having those bottles of ink is you're able to use them. I'm trying to get this off. I should have done that before. You're able to use those inks to color any kind of seam binding that you would want. I should have done this before. Oh, am I getting it? Am I getting it? So while I try to finagle with this, so I don't know if I'm going to get my part three done this week on my tutorial of my tri-fold journal for my niece. The reason is I had a kind of a little bit of a scare. I had been dizzy for over five days and you know I am 66 years old but I had dizziness for um, five days I, I still am actually a little bit dizzy but I ended up going to the emergency room day before yesterday and they did a full gamut of tests I can't say enough about Mercy Gilbert Hospital they were fantastic anyway um I was admitted because they did a MRI of my brain with contrast. They did a CAT scan with and without contrast of my brain. I had an EKG done. I had um, ultrasound of my heart done. I had a full gamut of labs, everything possible lab work wise. Everything came back negative. So. It may just be a little middle ear kind of an issue, and I'm I'm still a little dizzy here and there, and I more than my normal uh, dizzy broad kind of a, a thing. But anyway, I am fine, thank goodness. I feel like I got a clean bill of health from all of that, and I'm back home in my crafting room, but I'm a little behind and. You know, still a little dizzy, so I'm not sure if I'm going to work on the journal very much. But anyway, we're going to have a little just show and tell then instead. So this is nice, and there's quite a bit of it. Ten yards. Ten yards. And then I thought this would be fun for some uh, journals to lay underneath. Isn't that fun? Look at it. It's kind of a... A silver webbing love that that was that's brand new in the catalog and then let me show you my papers I'm gonna pull them off my chair and sit down and we'll go through the paper that I ordered now I ordered uh, a pack of their vellum and the reason I like stamping up vellum I'm gonna show you right here and there right here and now sorry this piece of vellum is just from my regular craft store and this is the vellum from stamping up you can see it's a thicker vellum you can tell by kind of the feel of it it is fantastic for uh, using on my printer and copying images on my printer so that I actually have digitals on vellum and it is a much higher quality than what you will get in your craft store and I feel that is the way with the majority of the things from Stampin' Up. They are a little bit higher priced, but you know, you pay for what you get. I firmly believe they really have very nice stuff. Now, this is called, this was a vellum, but why is it say Simply Elegant? I don't think it's the Simply Elegant. No, that's right. 
Okay, sorry. This is, I knew it was called Shimmer Vellum, but this is 12 by 12 colors of vellum. And they're in the new in colors. So, oh, wow. I don't know if you can see that, guys. I'm going to turn this other little light on over here. I don't know if that's going to help. I'm going to hold it up. Let's see. I don't know if that you can see that. It's very, very shimmery there. And it's just a plain matte finish there. Let me turn on this light and see if it helps. Oh, yeah. See? See how shimmery that is? Isn't that beautiful vellum? Oh, see the difference between the two sides? Oh, that, that is good. So this is that pale papaya. This is maybe the freesia. I apologize, guys, that I don't know the colors. It could be also gorgeous grape. But, you know, it's a purple. It's a fun purple. Oh, beautiful green. Now, this green, I think, would go very nice with Christmas cards. I may have to some order some more of that. Now, this, I know, I can tell is the polished pink. Very, very bright. And again, the very nice high quality from Stamping Up. And then this one, is it different than this other green? Oh yeah, this is the evergreen one, and this is the soft succulent. Wow, that's fantastic. So some really, really nice um, vellum pieces, okay? Very good. And then the next thing is the Simply Elegant Designer Series Paper. And it is a very, let me kind of stack this up so it's even. You know, the OCD in me has to have the paper even. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to turn down that light again. Sorry, guys. So this is a gold. This would be beautiful in a, a very elegant junk journal. And they're always double-sided. So this is more of a plain and it looks like it is gray color. So you get two pieces of each. This is copper color with it looks like some gray in the background and silver. And then that's the plain side. I definitely like the foiled side better. Again, a little bit of a copper color with silver. And this is just some gray and white. Ooh, this is beautiful. This looks like Art Deco. Wow, that is pretty. It's gold with a little bit of gray. Wow, that is very pretty paper. Love that. Yeah, with the gray on the background. Ooh, you know what? We all love new paper, don't we? That's a very subtle uh, shimmery gold there. I think that may be the pale papaya in the background and again some gray. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, love that. I think I like that side better. Very nice. And then... This, again, lots of nice gray tones, which would go good in a journal. Leaves there. Okay, so that is those papers. And there is a stamp set and a whole suite that goes with that. And let me show you real quick what that is. The stamp set that goes with that is called Elegantly Said. And again, I thought this would be beautiful for my journals, for the corner pages, stamping them in um, vintage photo or soft suede 
we have a nice little decorative edge here some floral a nice little almost looks like a little bitty butterfly and some sentiments but the neat thing too is this really beautiful punch so very elegant love that and then i ordered this is called beauty of the earth designer series paper and oh that's a beautiful green oh very very nice with trees you could fussy cut these out and have those in a journal this could almost be a fall motif because it, it kind of looks like it's got some of the fall, fall colors there this is pretty oh look at that yes this could be fall beautiful nice you could have a center picture there very nice oh beautiful oh for my journal that i'm making for my niece right now which has a lot of blues in it i think i need to put some some of that in her journal that is very pretty and again these greens i love these greens their mossy meadow and uh, old olive green color is like some of my all-time favorites Ooh, beautiful looks like clouds and there's the back and again very high quality paper that stamping up um, has in their catalog this is pretty this almost looks like watercolor of trees this would be a nice border to a page in a journal wood grain here never can get enough of that because you need that for your masculine cards and cards like that oh wow that's pretty look at that looks like a forest love it beautiful beautiful so that is the called beauty of the earth and i know there is a stamp set and a die set that comes with that i did not order that yet and then this is called hand pinned designer series paper so let's see again two sheets each and they're all 12 by 12. Oh, look at that. If you look up real close, it looks like somebody used a fountain pen around that floral edge to draw that. That's very pretty. Very nice soft colors. I think this looks like that soft succulent color. Oh, and again, the hand pinned. So one side is more... Um, the hand pinned and the other side is subtle and and uh, more of a monotoned coloring that's pretty i like that that's something very different than, from stamping up i don't remember seeing something like that hand pinned from them them i think i have this backwards i think these flowers are supposed to go this way and again this would be beautiful for tags in a junk journal because it looks like somebody did that freehand like that purple there greens and yellows very very nice and you know we all love the smell of new paper <laughs> Some little polka dots here. Yeah, I can see me using a lot of this in a junk journal. It's not that bold and bright, which I've kind of gotten away from using because in the junk journals, it's more vintage and old looking. And this is nice. I actually have taken a lot of the stamping up papers and uh, coffee dyed them and they've come out quite nice so that is that paper 
Then this set I thought is perfect again for junk journaling. So it's called Quiet Meadow and they have a set of dies that go with it. Now the fun thing about the stamp set it's, of it itself is you have this um, script here or, or typing and some of the letters it looks like it's you know not completely uh, filled in so that would go very nicely into a junk journal this splattering is very good and very useful to put in certain little areas that are blank so that it gives some color and age knit age looking you have a floral here and here and then a couple of sentiments but again these remind me of the Tim Holtz I think they're called wild flower dyes but I thought these would be really good in a junk journal is using these images to die cut some paper out they also have a butterfly here a half butterfly here label here a small little tag here this is very nice so this set goes with that elegant paper or no it goes with something else sorry guys but anyway very nice and then i ordered another punch i have i think almost every punch that stampin up has and again, it's because the quality is very, very high and they're very quick for punching out something. So this is the essential tag punch. And then I wanted these, again, because I'm making more journals than cards. I think someday I'll probably go back to making cards, but right now I'm just having so much fun with these journals. I think people will throw cards away, but I don't think they'll throw a journal away. So I feel if I'm going to spend my time, hours and hours making something, I would prefer it be something that people would keep. So look at these tags. One, two, three, four of those. One, two, three, four of those. Different shapes and they have the reinforcers to them. So the neat thing is I will take all eight of these, put them on one piece of coffee dyed paper or even that hand pen paper and cut out a bunch of these and then I've got tons of tags for, um, to put in a journal that people can journal on the back of these. So I'll, I'll do a little project with these and show you guys. Then I got a new embossing folder. And again, this reminded me of something that was vintage. And it is called Parisian Flourish 3D Embossing Folder. That's pretty. And the 3D embossing folders, they really do imprint quite a bit. Now again, you know you can put ink on here and then run it through your embossing machine with paper and only part of the ink will transfer on. So that's pretty. Parisian Flourish 3D embossing folder. Then for my junk journals, this was something new that the catalog had, was these ombre gift bags. And you know how we always put gift bags in our journals as little pockets. But these are the new colors. So it looks like you get one, two, three, four of the evergreen, four of the soft succulent, four of the pale papaya, four of the 
Fresh Freesia and four of the Frosted Pink, I think is, is what it was. But the thing what you do with these, you could either just glue it by itself into a journal and have a little tuck spot. But a lot of times what I do is I fold it over like this. Then I cut this part off, and then you have two pockets. Let me just show you real quick in another journal uh, how I did that. So this is the journal I'm making for my niece. Let me make sure I'm in full camel, camel, camel view. <laughs> Camera view. Oh my gosh, are we sure that that... Um, MRI scan of my brain is was negative. Oh heavens. Okay, so this is like what that would be. So this is a different kind of a bag and it's sewn into the signature that you can see on the other side. I just cut it open and I'll be able to tuck some little tags and, and ephemera and pick photos and pictures so that's why I got those bags I thought oh and I love the colors so lots and lots of uses in your junk journals for these oh, I may have to actually order another um, set because I know I'm going to be going through those and then I ordered the um in color, the new colors of the 6x6 Designer Series paper. And again, these are all the new colors. And there's they're double-sided. So we have the pink. And then that soft green. Purple. Fresh Freeze, uh, the kind of the yellowish color. And then that dark green. This is going to be, I think, popular at Christmas. I think that's going to work very nicely at Christmas. Okay, so that is that. And then I'm going to just real quick show you a couple of the projects I have been working on. And again, if you want any of that, uh, of that Stamping Up products, just go to my 24-7 online store or write in the comment section that you would like a catalog. You really need to be in the United States. If you're outside of the United States, find, <coughs> find a demonstrator in your country and it will help you uh, with the shipping and the pricing and stuff. So again, that's my 24-7 online store. Now, I ordered this size block because I didn't have this size block. I have all the other blocks from Stamping Up. But again, I want to just show you real quick the difference between Stamping Up blocks and other blocks out there. The nice thing about the Stamping Up blocks is they're, they have like a little indentation here that you're able to hold that when you put your stamp on there, you have something really substantial to hang on to as compared to this one that I bought um, probably at my local craft store but it's it's not as not as easy to hold on to so that's why I like the stamping up uh, products for their stamps I think they're just much easier and they're very sturdy. And now I have <clears throat> every single size with the exception of, I think, the absolute largest one they have. But I didn't order it yet because I have the Stamparatus. Okay, now let's go on to what I have been slow stitching. Make sure this is in camera. And I'm going to... Try to zoom in a little bit. There we go. Let's see if that works. So this is going to be the front and back cover of 
some type of journal. I'm not quite sure what yet. I'm thinking it might be for my needles. Uh, I'll probably put a pocket in there for my scissors. That's what I'm thinking. But I have just stitched onto a very plain type of a material that's fairly thick. I stitched on the this little flower here. This is part of ribbon here. There's my needle. I'm going to pull it off and stick it on a magnet. Uh, this was some lace I bought. I've done some fridge, French knots and just some straight stitches here. A couple of safety pins there. There's buttons in different spots that I've sewn in. I've gone with different tones of blues, ivories, and grays. This little flower here is stitched on, and this I bought at like the Goodwill. It was actually a dress, and I've cut out these little flowers. I have tons of them. Some fly stitches here, some little X's here. I stitched around this. A little butterfly. This was a piece of a tablecloth. I've done some beading here and here. A couple of bullion knots here. Just seed stitches here. Love these little X's. I love how that turned out there. Just a little bit of lace there. Here is a piece of uh, applique. Again, the uh, a button, a large button. Some couching here of ribbon and then there's a little bit of couching over here cute little sewing machine that i stitched on there and a pair of scissors cute and then this is my flower garden here down in this corner and i'm going to add some small little flowers in between here but i wanted I did a lot of this while waiting in the emergency room. I was in the emergency room for like mm, 12 hours. Uh, and thank goodness, because I was an ER nurse for 18 years, I knew it was going to be a long wait because that's the nature of the beast. And it's a 36-bed ER. I know they're very busy and they don't take first come, first serve in an ER. It is who is the sickest. And since mine had been going on for five days... They knew it was not something to be too scared about. So anyway, that's my little rant on ERs, which is something that was like one of my favorite uh, areas of the hospital to work in. So my point is, this is why I packed this. I threw it real quick in my bag as I headed out because I knew I was going to be waiting. So I did lots and lots of stitching while there. But I didn't have some of my fancier threads that I want to put around here. This was some a, a button, and I think I have a couple more that I got at Joann's that I sewed on there. Here's some more beading. This is a yo-yo here, or suffix, suffix puff. I did some stitching around it. Uh, bullion knots here. Um, this is an applique here, and I did some French knots there. This is some seed stitching there and there. Just a little dangle here. I think these. this was lace from Hobby Lobby. So what it will be is it will be folded like this. So this will be the front. And I will put some material here and then stitch this. So it's not going to be that big, which is why I'm thinking it would be perfect for holding sewing supplies, different kinds of needles. You know, we have tons of needles as people who love to do all kinds of crafts and sewing. So I think that's what it's going to be. But I still have... A, some work to do on it. I'm expecting some more um, beautiful threads from Steph Francis from England. And so I've got area there that I need to sew. There's some plain areas here. I've got some areas here that need some stitches. 
Um, so it's not done, but anyway, that's one thing that I was working on. And some of you know by Instagram, um, my tag challenge that I'm participating in, but my YouTubers don't all know about it. It's a 52 tag challenge where every single week on Friday, a woman by the name of Ann Brooke uh, on her YouTube channel gives us a prompt of what we should do that week with stitching. And I believe I've shown you a lot of these. So at the end, we will have 52 of them, but I will show you the newest ones that I, I think I did a YouTube on that one. So then this prompt was a landscape. And because I live in Arizona, I decided to do a desert. So this is a saguaro cactus that is in bloom with the sun. If you've ever been in Arizona, the skies when the sun is going down are just beautiful. And they are like this, dark colors and purples and oranges and reds and yellows. Then this is a flat top uh, mountain that we have here in Arizona. So that was my landscape tag. Then the next tag was uh, seed stitching. And so I decided to embroidery my name and then seed stitch all around it. Now, I love how it came out, but oh my heavens. <laughs> My fingers were so sore after doing this stitching and it, oh, it, it came out lovely, but wow. But again, it's, it's fun pain. I don't know. That's weird. That was a weird saying, but I just, I, I'm not complaining. It's just, it took a long time and my hands hurt, but it was, I'm pleased with the, you know, the final product. Then this uh, tag was couching. And so I decided to use reds. There are different kinds of material here. Some of this material is from um, uh, Roxy Creations. I ordered it from her. She lives in England. I mean, not England. Oh my gosh, Italy. She's Australian and lives in uh, in Italy. Uh, but she sent me some of this uh, fabric here. That was a fun tag and that was quick. And then the last tag that we did was mini hexagons. And when I was doing mine, I thought, oh, as I was doing those little hexagons, I thought that looks like a little quilt to me. So I decided to make a bed out of my tag. Now the tag is only, I think two inches by four inches. So it, it, they were very, very small hexagons. I even um, sewed this little pillow and then sewed this lace on here. So it would be a duff, dust ruffle. So I need to get busy on tag number, this was 18, so I need to get busy on 19. And 19, uh, the prompt is a word to stitch. So my brain is going wild thinking, what, in, what am I going to do? What would be fun to do? So anyway, I'm going to end this here. Thanks for joining me. And I appreciate each and every one of you. I will work on the part three of the journal for my niece and we'll go from there. Have a great week, everyone. Bye. Talk to you later.